What's up ATG fam? Just another day in the office. We're going inside my workout right now. I'm on step four of one of the advanced knee ability zero sessions. So I have two leg days, a loaded leg day and a body weight leg day. This is my loaded leg day and we'll kind of reverse engineer from here. So I got a six inch step plus heel elevation. This is my last set. I got my body weight on my back and I'm gonna lower only to the heel of the non-working foot. Now this right knee had a partially torn patellar tendon. I overcame that without surgery. And this is gonna show you how. Notice I have full control of this without pain. There's no help to get back up. This is my set of five, but on that last set, it's 20, 15, 10, five on that last set. You just go to a nice, oh, whew, felt good, no pain. So that's 100% my body weight, my back. But now let's reverse engineer all this. This is advanced zero. This is step four and knee ability zero. We already do so much work to make this position right here easier, to make going down the stairs easier, to make walking, running, jumping easier. But I'm gonna show you exactly where I started this. And also all you really need is like a dumbbell handle to get started. I like a slant board when it comes time to load. But the first goal on this is because I couldn't do this without assistance and most people with patellar tendon pain can't do 25 reps without assistance or they can't do it pain free. We're only talking about working with no pain. So this is assistance, okay? Heels elevated, 25 reps until you can do that without pain unassisted. So all the load is here. Kind of remind you of like going down the steps, kind of remind you of jumping, of decelerating literally is and this version if we look at the history was created by Charles Poliquin because he found that people weren't strong enough to do the Peterson version where you actually balance yourself and then I started doing a version where you keep the foot flat because I found that athletes in team sports our ankles are so stiff that I don't even want the knee powering up on top of a weak and stiff ankle right so this is Patrick version notice there see that's different Peterson version, and then this is the Poliquin version. So in advanced zero, I have three different Monday leg days. And I balance it out Thursday with a body weight leg day. So I cycle through these. So in week one, I did foot flat. Now it's week two, I'm doing the Poliquin version. And then in week three, I'll do the Peterson version. I do them like that, and then I'll cycle through. So this is inside my strategy on how I'm getting more athletic more bulletproof at age 30, how I know I'm gonna be one of the most athletic on earth as I age because I'm getting bulletproof as I train and it's all going from the ground up through my feet and ankles so my body keeps feeling lighter over time. And that little route there though, that is how I overcame a partially torn patellar tendon which was not insignificant, which I was told I needed surgery on. So it's pretty serious stuff. I can't tell you what you should do, but it's pretty freaking cool that I overcame it, that all this stuff is step-by-step step, and that you never, ever work through pain in the process.